guys, Max here, um, back on the DC3. Um, so last session we uh, added the fiberglass, laid the peel ply, that's all now cured, and we're ready to take this off and have a look at how the finishes go on. So let's get into it. Takes a bit of muscle. All right, so here's that margin I was talking about where we had that extra glue, which I ran over during the uh, laying up stage. So nice new sharp razor. And if we do this right, we should be able to just poke that razor right on the edge and just run it along. Just pull the tight material tight behind it. Um, Sometimes the epoxy can be a little bit thick and it might not be uh, exactly smooth, but like I said, this is more of a way to get the majority of the glass on and not have to do a heap of sanding afterwards, even though we have to do some sanding. I mean, Yeah, that looks really good. I'll sand the rest of that and clean up this. I see a lot of this uh, this raised stuff where there's an interface where um, we've overlapped resin and fiberglass. Um, if we try to sand this, we'll spend ages trying. So. The epoxy does take a few days, even weeks, to actually get to its like final hardness. So we've got a bit of time to play with this stuff. So I like to use a, a razor, and I like to scrape these parts. So we'll have a look at, say, this part here. definitely coming along nicely and see the, these bits here like this really really makes light work of them It's a lot of feel as well, just feeling the surface. It's sort of looking doesn't really work very well just because there is so many bits and pieces in there. And a lot of this, even if it's a, like a millimetre down, we're going to fill that with um, primer anyway. So it's no point going too crazy at this stage.
uh, it's day two of the peel flies all on, fine glasses on. It's starting. It's feeling like it's uh, like it's dried and set. So now we're going to take the peel fly off and see what finish we have. It's the majority of the plane done. We've got a few areas to go. Um, the horizontal stab and just the side bits where the windows are. I plan on getting the paintbrush and just actually epoxying them without fiberglass. And then we're gonna fill them with a resin at the end to make them look like windows. So we're gonna tint some resin. So um, for now, we're nearly done. Um, I'll just have to do the fillets as well. And that's the bulk of the fiberglassing done. Um, I'm working on the landing gear next. So I've started to make a little video on how I've done that. Um, which is going well. Um, we have to worry about the nose as well. So I've got the roof. That's the roof for the nose and I've made the chairs. I just have to uh, glue them in and then we'll start thinking about buttoning up the roof. Um, tell me what you guys think about how if I was to button this roof up and start to fiberglass it, I could then sort of glaze the windows. I've got some, uh, some polycarbonate I'm going to use and I've cut the window shapes but um, just through the finishing and the sanding of the plane, I think they'll be damaged, so I want to do them last. So thoughts on that would be great from you guys in the comments. Um, let me know and we'll, we'll go from there and we'll try to incorporate that into the build. Um, otherwise, thanks again for watching. Um, yeah, I'm new to this, so I appreciate you guys having a look and um, hopefully we can get some good progress happening with the plane. Thanks guys, see ya.